Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the day of Thursday, April 4th, 2019. Um, I hope you guys have been having a good week so far. I am feeling a bit better to, well, okay, much better today. Um, I did have a pretty interesting night last night, but... I'm feeling better today than I was yesterday. And so yeah, I hope you guys are having um, a good week and I hope you guys have a great day. So this is going to be a general energy reading, all right? So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, you can go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Um, and just let me know a little bit about what you're looking to discuss, what you would like a little more clarity on and I will get you all set up yeah now um just because this is a message that's coming through on the day of the 4th of april it doesn't mean it has to resonate on this day however it seems that you know whatever is coming out does resonate on the day just because you know it has something to do with your life and that's great but take it as it resonates okay everybody's situation is different and this is a general reading um, and also this is not specific to anything, love, career, sign, whatever. This is just what spirit wants to discuss at this moment. Yes? Yes. <laughs> okay. So let's just get to it, guys. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. My desk is a little wet, skis. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, sorry, I want to dry off my desk. My mug was wet because I, you know, because I washed it, and so now it's making my desk wet. And I've already warped one of the cards in this deck, so I don't want to. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Thursday, April fourth. 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we've got for today, guys. April 4th, 2019. I'm still very happy about it being April. Warmer weather and all that good stuff. We're gonna give this one more shuffle. Just the best messages for today, please. Spirit, what would you like to discuss with us today? Thursday, April 4th, 2019. Best messages for today, please. Aha, aha, aha. Okay. So underneath the deck, ooh, we don't, we haven't really, honestly, we haven't gotten this card in this deck before. It's such a beautiful card. Temperance. Okay, so Temperance is here um, also because Moonchild has fallen out. Now, in this deck, Moonchild is one of the unique cards in the deck, um, and it talks about the cycles of the moon um, and what we can learn from them and how that relates to your own cycles. And tomorrow is the new moon. Thank you for those of you who um, answered my question from Morning Coffee yesterday. The new moon is tomorrow, and I believe it's in Aries. I think that's what people said. So this is what we're talking about here, all right? Let's see what else has fallen out. Okay, look at that. We've got Divine Wisdom, the Knight of Wands in Reverse, and Judgment. Wow. This is very, very interesting. Okay. So this translate or this relates to, uh, I'm feeling like the, because 
Um, I'm, I, I'm feeling energies of yesterday's reading, um, the Knight of Wands that came out in yesterday's reading, that the King of Swords was holding at bay. Um, I do feel like that's the energy here. But it's being released, okay? But it's because it's in between divine wisdom and judgment. So there's a there's it's not like you're it's not that you're not passionate, but um, not, and not that you're not fiery and like let you don't have goals or whatnot that you want to really rush forward towards. I guess we should say, but also you don't want to rush forward towards it anymore. Um, and that's it's not that you've given up on it, but it's that you've learned the lesson here between divine wisdom and judgment. It's about allowing things to happen. It's about having patience, being patient with temperance underneath the deck. And what I'm picking up here is this, especially with around this new moon energy. Um, and a new moon is a great time for manifesting, like putting your intentions out there and allowing the universe to bring it towards you, getting the ball rolling on a certain manifestation, whereas the full moon is a great time to release. Yes, we do have the new moon tomorrow. Um, and instead of rushing in or taking all kinds of crazy actions or whatever, not, what, not whatever, and I say crazy lightly, like I'm not trying to call you crazy, <laughs> but um, instead of doing it that way, you're not rushing, you're not hasty, you're just allowing it to happen. Because there's definitely an energy of, between divine wisdom and judgment, there's an energy of understanding that what is for you will not, I guess you could say it this way, what is for you will never leave you. Now, take that lightly though, because like if something leaves you, then it's not in alignment with you anymore. Or if something is no longer in your life, then it's no longer in alignment with you. And that's not a bad thing, okay? Um, but what's yours will be yours. You don't have to rush. You don't have to, um, you know, be hasty. You don't have to go through um, hell just to get there. Well, okay, I shouldn't say that. But, like, you don't have to do all this extra stuff to make it happen, right? That's what I'm trying to say. There's a good amount of patience here. We really have learned to be patient here, which is beautiful. Now, divine. Also, I should I should explain. Divine wisdom is um, another unique card, part of unique uh, card in the deck. Um, divine wisdom talks about, you know, just that. Divine wisdom. What have you learned? The 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 wisdom of the universe and and all that stuff and putting it to good use and the wisdom of your experiences. Yes and putting that into practice. This is really nice, you guys. It sure does seem like many of, here, of us here have learned a very, very valuable lesson in patience. Things are coming together with the temperance card, which is also the source of our patience. It's like, especially if we're talking about like a continuation of yesterday's reading, true love or anything like that it can't be rushed i mean it's who who sang that song was it diana ross and the supremes you can't hurry love but you wouldn't want to rush it really why would you, i mean i learned that lesson why would you want to rush it yes you do want it that's true but it will come to you you just got to give it time. Divine timing and all that good stuff. Okay. So let's get into some clarification here. This is a much more chill reading than yesterday's. <laughs> and I'm using, I'm using the Epic Tarot here for clarification today. And I don't even want to, I mean, this is a pretty small reading, so I'm just gonna let the cards clarify everything. And we'll see what we get here, okay? Let me give this one more shuffle. And we'll see what we've got. 
Alrighty, spirit. Clarity, please. Just a bit of clarification. Ah, the emperor. There's that six of cups again, you guys. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, good lord. Good. Okay, all right. See, now this is just, this is just crazy. This is just crazy. Do you see this mess that spirit has just made? <laughs> I know. Spirit just said, I'm making it to challenge you. Well, gee, thanks, Spirit. <laughs> I appreciate it. Let's see if anything else has fallen out here. No. Okay. Underneath the deck is the King of Cups. There's a good amount of love here, isn't there? Um, somebody's... Somebody's got the hots, but you know what though? What this is really talking about mostly, good Lord, I don't know if I'm gonna be, yes you can, Eric, okay. Um, there's a good amount of emotional responsibility, but also emotional restraint. Um, I do feel like somebody's gonna be making some moves eventually though. We have the two of wands. Um, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I really just don't even know where to start. Uh, oh boy. I'm sorry guys, give me a second. I really just, I have no idea where to start with this. Okay. So there's that two of cups, six of cups, eight of pentacles, the queen of wands, the seven of swords, the nine of swords, with the devil, fear. Okay, look, um, here's the thing. <clears throat> divine, okay, all right. See, now divine wisdom. Uh, so what have you learned here? Well, you've learned, number one, that you're a magnetic being, okay? Um, you learned the nature of soulmate relationships here with the Six of Cups. The, the magnetic being you are is the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands to me is the embodiment, the physical embodiment of the law of attraction, okay? She, is, she represents the law of attraction to me, whether you're male or female just because she's so receptive and she's so magnetic and she really can get anything that she wants just by being who she is, okay? And to me, that's the epitome of the law of attraction. Now, what have you learned here? To not deceive yourself. You've learned what deception is, what deceiving yourself is. It's about believing in yourself, regardless of what anyone may tell you or what that, what not. Two of Cups, also, you learned about divine inner union, okay? Um, you learned to let go of the fear, the anxiety with the devil, the codependency, the attachment. Um, and, you know, to just continue working on it. And it's a constant, it's constant work with this Eight of Pentacles here. It's constant work, but it's vibrational work. Maintaining the vibration of that which you really deserve or what you really wish to achieve here, okay? That's really great. That's really great. Okay. Um, so now the Knight of Wands is in reverse here. I'm going to put this to the side. The Knight of Wands is, is, is in reverse here. Okay. And with that, you have the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So Three of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Three of Pentacles is self-mastery. Okay. Achieving. Achieving that sense of self-mastery and persevering. It's been a, a serious perseverance ride. All right, and now that's connected to, um, what's this up here? Moonchild uh, by the Emperor and the Seven of Cups. The Emperor and the Seven of Cups is a very much um, not allowing yourself to be swayed, manipulated, or controlled by all of the different illusions around you. Um, like, if you look at this card, this person is literally, like, not even trying to look at this. You could read this one of two ways. Either this person is delusional and doesn't want to see things as they truly are, or they are trying not to get 
wrapped up in the confusion, the chaos, all the different options. Like they're not even trying to get, they're not trying to be distracted. And that's what I'm seeing here. As well, coupled with the emperor energy, you're not trying to get distracted, okay? The distraction would be um, other people, um, appearances, your own emotions, like staying stable, staying in control, okay? And then we move to judgment. This is interesting. These fell sideways. I'm not sh too sure why just yet, but judgment here, four of pentacles, <laughs> that knight of wands, the ten of swords, the five of wands, and then we have, ah, the tower and the four of cups. Very interesting. And then also we have the two of wands with the nine of cups. Oh, well, okay, let me talk about that first. The two of wands with the nine of cups. That's over here on the knight of wands. It's like the knight of wands, which is in reverse in the original spread, okay? Um, satisfaction is coming to you. And you learned that that is true no matter what. Regardless of the circumstances, you will, be, you will manifest that which you desire. All right. Um, oh, I get that. Okay, so so it's that's why we don't have to rush into things anymore. And that's why we don't have to feel hasty. Like we have to get it done now. There's no rush any longer. Okay. It's literally just about choosing which path you want to take and just staying on it. As long as you are on the path, you're staying in your authenticity, you are doing what it is you need to be doing for yourself, for your betterment, for your mission, everything will flow. Queen of Wands, yes? Now, moving over to judgment here. And now, I do understand why the, the Magician and the Two of Pentacles have fallen out sideways, sideways like this. You'll see how they're kind of opposite of each other. From a long time, many of us have like kind of like been in between worlds. And we're finally starting to break free from that, okay? Um, and manifesting what it is we desire, right? So I'm just seeing these as like opposing each other. Um, it's very similar to the image of how the, the earth is kind of going from 3D to 5D. The third 3D paradigm is not ceasing to exist. It's literally through, like, uh, through what looks like kind of like meiosis. Um, they're kind of just splitting apart. One, the 3D side is going, we'll say this way, the 5D side is going this way. And so that's what I'm seeing here. Two of Pentacles represented by the, represents the 3D. The Magician represents the 5D, yes? Um, judgment here. I'll get to that in a second. Judgment here is Four of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords, Five of Wands. It's interesting. You letting go of this hasty energy is somehow creating some sort of conflict with the Five of Wands. I'm seeing the Four of Pentacles as literally letting go. Okay, you have the Knight of Wands here, which is talking about that hasty energy we've been discussing. Ten of Swords, the situation is done. But there are people, that, maybe there's some individuals that are not so happy about that. Now that you've kind of like wised up and you're deciding to go in a different, different direction and react or live in a different way, there are some people that are in conflict about it. Maybe you're also experiencing some sort of like conflict or also some sort of inner turmoil as you split between these two i guess versions of yourself i don't know that's interesting that's very interesting let me know how that resonates with you guys but the first thing i'm thinking of or i'm feel i'm feeling with this five of this five of wands energy is that there are some other people out there that are not very happy not too happy about you getting in control and I really feel like that's because it's this Knight of Wands energy that has kind of been your detriment in the past and people have wanted you to stay in that energy because that was, that was the energy that I guess made you look like a fool, um, made you look unstable, I guess, um, and kept you lower in rank. But when you get control of that and you rise above that, you rise above them. And I guess they don't like that. 
Okay, this is obviously this is a general message, so take it as it resonates. But you know that kind of in some ways that makes sense. You know what I mean? And then finally, you have the Tower with the Four of Cups. Unrequited love, feeling uh, uh, boredom, something like that. Even depression. The Four of Cups can really look like depression. Change. All of that is changing. It's almost as if like a deep source of depression, anxiety, or feeling rejected, unrequited love, whatnot, whatever, is being purged or is being released, changed. A whole new you is about to emerge in many, many cases. That's really quite awesome. Okay. I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna close this out just today with some oracle guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck. Yes? Yes. Sounds like a fantastic idea. <laughs> I love how, did I mention that today that this was a chill reading before all the clarification come out? I mean, damn. Spirit just loves to, just loves to throw a novel at me. <laughs> One more shuffle, and then we'll see what we've got. You know, this is, with this King of Cups energy here, this is very much an energy of, very, of being in love. Very much being in love, but being able to contain it. I mean, yes, being willing and, 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 and being willing to take action when action is called for, but also it's just, it's almost like there's a sense of pride and I mean, I guess, I guess you could say arrogance, but it's not really, it's just, I just get this really deep sense that you've come a very long way and even if you are head over heels, madly in love with someone, there's still this level of control or restraint here with the Emperor energy with the King of Cups. That's just like, I just feel like you're, it's very masculine, but I feel like you're very proud of yourself for being able now to just really like take the wheel and say, no, I'm not gonna give in to that. Like, yes, I have some very deep feelings for you, but if the time is not right, the time is not right. Like you're, okay, 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 okay. And that's what they we're talking about here. Four of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords, but then that five of, five of Wands. You're the one now saying to them, listen, like until X, Y, and Z happens, I can't really give in to this. Or yes, you know, I have some very deep feelings for you. Damn near, I'm very much in love with you. But I mean, I guess I can't really do anything about that right now, can I? And you're all smooth about it and just like nonchalant even. And they're kind of looking at you like, who the hell is this? And what did you do with so-and-so? <laughs> like, I want that wild, rambunctious so-and-so back. Like, why do you have to be such an adult right now? And, and you're just kind of sitting back like, hey, it is what it is. The tower with the four of cups. So maybe these other people are going through somewhat of a tower moment themselves. And maybe they're kind of feeling the rejection that you, that you may have felt. What goes around comes around. Yeah? Mm -mm -mm. My, have the tables turned. I will cheers to that with my green tea. <laughs> oh, darn it. Speaking of which, I'm going to be doing happy hour tonight. I should have said that in the beginning. I totally forgot, but that's okay. I'll just post it. Anyway, let's get your Oracle guidance. Yeah? Best message, please. Whoops, there it is. Ah, this is a beautiful card. Card number 30, Ascended Master White Matthew and Dan Bright, Original Self. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my God. Gorgeous, honey. Gorgeous, darling. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, I just turned, guys, I just turned to card number 17. This number is stalking me. 
and some other some other some others of you too i was reading the comments and i'm like wow we are really all connected aren't we like this is nuts okay <clears throat> here we go we bring you the blessing of original self as you progress through your life learning and growing you gain wisdom and strength you grow more radiant and authentic true to who you are and as this happens, many of the layers of identity begin to fall away. What you once believed yourself to be is shown to be not much more than clothing your soul wore for a time. You have outgrown it. It is no longer a good fit. It constrains too much, doesn't reflect your personality, vibrancy, uniqueness, and beauty, so you discard it. Perhaps you are able to be more spiritually naked? The sense of who you are becomes simpler. You are just you. Others may or may not, quote, get you, but nonetheless, you are still just you. You are freeing yourself from the projections of others, of the world, and simply living as your original, radiant, divine self. My, my. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. There you have it, guys. I don't know what to... Okay. <clears throat> the animal spirits want to chime in. Let's see what we've got. Just a quick message from the animal spirits. Them good old animal spirits. One more shuffle, they say. Okay, okay, okay. Alrighty, here we go. What do you have to say today's animal spirits? There it is. Ah ha 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 ha! Lion. Lion. Could be dealing with a Leo. Maybe you have Leo in your chart. I have Leo in my chart. Go, Leo. I love Leos. Honestly, I just, I really, I love Leos. They're my favorite. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. They're my favorite, you guys. Here we go. Well, this is actually kind of perfect. Lion, patient, regal, a complete master. The lion is a master of the fire element and the living mascot of self-transformation. A lion personality dedicates their life to personal and spiritual growth. This dedication inspires some and intimidates others. Therefore, the lion is respected by all, but known intimately by few. Some mistake the lion as hard to access or aloof, yet those with a keener eye know better. Lions are observant, stealth, and precise in their words and actions. They do not waste energy or resources. This card reminds us that self-mastery is available to all, no matter where our quest begins. When in balance, lion is the epitome of peace and strength. When out of balance, lion is withdrawn and too serious. To bring into balance, one needs daily meditation or just some friendship, good old friendship. And actually, I'm glad I pulled that because that is absolutely perfectly on point like spot on dead on with what we were talking about with judgment clarified over here judgment is clarified by the four of pentacles knight of wands ten of swords five of wands the tower and the four of cups i mean that's exactly what we were talking about a, a good and i was saying restraint with the king of cups here and temperance we will call, we've all come a very long way and I say cheers to you guys for being such freaking badasses. <laughs> yes. All right, guys, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you guys this evening for happy hour if you would like to join in. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing this. <laughs> I was shimmying. Anyway, I love you guys. Have a great day and I will see you soon, yeah? Take care. Bye. Ooh.